at even strength. I tell you, the privateer. Oh! oh! Petriello! Petriello! Right after the penalty ends, he puts it in. One to nothing, Dayton Demons. That's the pressure that Dayton does. 19 shots later, the Demons put it past Anthony right after the five on four power play expires for the Demons. Look. One to nothing, Demons. Look at the shots on goal, people. 20 to seven. Have you seen anything so one-sided? I could say that a little bit sometimes. Tell you Wants to jam it in, leaves it behind, and passes it. It's in! in! Mets with the There's assist. There's a goal. Jason, Jason Hill. Hill. Jason Hill with the goal. Two to nothing, Dayton. And for Jason Hill, that is goal number 16 on the season. Two to nothing, Dayton. How about those Dayton Demons? Dayton Demons 2, Thousand Islands, Privateers, nothing, 21. To clean it up for the red jerseys. Hill, a soft touch, Fleacek tries to dump it in. There Felton. it is. Felton it's dumps Felton. it in, and Felton gives Dayton the lead again, three to two. Felton was the last demon to touch it, and for Felton, that is goal number 13 on the season. Three to two, Demons. Demons back on top. And that is a power play goal for Jesse Felton. So both teams, one power play goal on the night. Privateers one for one. And I believe the Demons are now one for five. Well, oh, we'll near side, looks at his options. Pass it back for Wheeler. To the far side now. It's Wheeler again near side on the Hera. Mafu's now. Looks at his options, pass it over. There's a shot, it goes it's in! Going. Petriello puts it in off the right pad of Anthony. Power play goal, and it's now four to three. Dayton, 14-11, left to play. Good power play goal by the Dayton Demons. That's what we were talking about, needed to put that goal in, and that puts us up, 4-3, Dayton's lead. It was right at the right. 10.30 left to play in the third. Felton tries to pull it in. And, and Felton scores! Felton dumps it in. Holy cow. Felton that was with, all Felton. Felton with his second goal on the night gives Dayton a two goal advantage once again. Felton gets some high fives from the fans. He'll go to the bench. High fives all around for the Red Tops. Dayton five, Thousand Islands three for Thousand Islands. They'll send a six attacker, trying to get an empty netter to seal the deal. i like to see Felton get that empty netter. There's McDonald tripping on the ice. That's actually the first time we've seen that tonight, but that's been happening a lot. Rose watches it go wide to the left. It's Campbell bouncing off the boards. And it'll be in the air. And, and oh there it no, is. There it comes just the Hill, the Felton Hill dumps it in. Six to three. What was Dang. that? <laughs> Hill puts it in. Felton with the assist. I really thought Felton was going to take the hat trick. He's like, nah, he'll take the goal. Dave, what have we been talking about this whole entire season? Very, very unselfish. That yeah, is I mean, Felton, Felton could have had the hat trick. He just kept passing it back, and Hill would give it to him. He's like, dude, shoot the goal. I don't want the hat trick. You take it. That is what you call unselfish teamwork. Yeah. <laughs> Tries to clear it out. It's Mafus. Mafus gets checked into the bench, the Thousand Islands bench, and Marks will chase it. Marks shoots it over. Bellamy tries to lose it. He'll knock the stick away from Marks, and Marks is holding his hand. He'll pick up his stick, though. Privateers trying to get it. Campbell passing off the boards, and it's picked back up by Marks. Marks bounces it off the boards in the neutral zone. The goalie for Thousand Islands, Matt Anthony, holds up his hand. It's an icing call against the Dayton Demons, so we'll have a face-off in Dayton's defensive zone. 2-0 Dayton Demons over the Thousand Islands Privateers. Mafu drops the gloves. We got a fight going on. Take Here we go. Mafu's taking on number six in James Gordon. 
Gordon versus Mafus. Here we go on the far blue line towards Anthony. Mafus crouching. He's looking for a good opportunity to strike. Mafus still waiting. He's got Gordon. Mafus still skating around, looking for that perfect opportunity to strike. Ring the bell. Mafus versus Gordon here, right near center ice. Gordon flinching his left hand a little bit. Mafus grabs with his left, and Mafus takes Gordon down. A right-handed punch to the head of Gordon. Oh, Mafus, yeah. Mafus taking it out on Gordon. Gordon fighting for his hockey life, and both are down, and the Zebras step in. Mafus still having a couple of fists at Gordon's skull. Mafus. There we go. Mafus pumping his arms up. Get these fans up out of their seats. Ahmed Mafus takes down Gordon. Mafus lost the gloves, lost the helmet, lost the stick, went for Gordon. You gotta love the fan favorite here. It's Ahmed, all about the foos. Ahmed Mafus. How about Ahmed Mafus? He's pumped and ready to kick some, literally some major, you know what? And it looks like Mafus is Oh, he the got door. a game misconduct, I think. Mafus waits for the doors, he's out of there. Hopefully we'll see Mafus. And no, that's not a homer statement either, folks. Because I tell you, Mafus' style of play is fun to watch. I think he got a game misconduct. That's going to be, you look up the time, that's. 15.04. Yeah. Left he, to go in the second period. Mafus takes down Gordon. Gordon's still going to the box for five for fighting. But Mafus took off the gloves, lost the stick, and just right, he waited for the perfect time. And usually with hockey, you just want to see the fist fight, but Mafus, very smart, and he went at Gordon when Gordon was starting to flinch his left, struck right there, got Gordon. Bye-bye, bye, Gordon! And Gordon's being shown the door as well. That's going to be... Gordon joining Mafus out there. Yep. And Gordon will give Anthony a slap on the hands. Gordon's out of there as well. So both of them out of there. Game misconduct upon both of them. For number 16 on the season is Jason Hill. Hill gets his first on the night. Felton with the assist. We're going to get a fight right here. There is McCarthy taking down Shot. Shot Scott. That's, that's Dill. That is Jeff Dill, a former Bluefin. A quick takedown of Shot. We seen Dill when he was wearing the. And McCarthy just took a shot with the stick over. Uh, Shot's trying to reach back for Dill. Shot's not done. The this strike. ain't over. 12.6 sec. Laporte. Hey, it's two. gonna be a brawl. Here we go. And there we go. It's the, a brawl. Laporte. He's got a demon to fight. And uh, Dill. He's being taken back. Dill's wiggling his right hand around. And someone just threw something. That's in section 20. Come on, folks. That's a little uncalled for. That's right unsportsmanlike by the fans. And that can do some serious stuff to your team. That's unacceptable right there. Looks like shots done for the night. And that's a game misconduct. We won't see shot tomorrow. Nope, he's done for the night. Shot's gone. Look at all that gear. McCarthy and Jeff Dill, a name we haven't called a lot tonight. We called it a lot. When Cape Cod was in town, got in the fight against Shot, and you called it. You called it, Dave. Shot was going to get someone tonight. Yeah, it was just a matter of time. And Dill come up, hit him in the back of the head, and then said, "Come on, let's go at it." Shot's like, "All right, you're mine now. I've had enough of this crap tonight. I'm hurting someone." And Laporte actually got into it at the last. Then you second. gotta look at Campbell comes behind when Shot's on the ground takes his hockey puck and hits him in the back of the head. Demons win 6-3 over the Thousand Islands Privateers, and I'm joined with the coach. It's Mark Lefebvre. Coach, great win tonight. 
Well, thank you. That's, uh, that was a playoff game. That was a playoff hockey. I uh, had a little bit of everything. Uh, a few fights, some goals, some great saves. Uh, you know, that's intensity. That was uh, that was one of the better games we've played in a while, one of the better games uh, that I think the fans have seen in a while. It was uh, two very good teams that went at it tonight. What do you think the Demons did a little bit better than the Privateers tonight? Just our overall game. I just think we're, I think just we're just deeper. Uh, you know, we're just better top to bottom. Uh, and that came through in the third period. I think we're in better shape. And, uh, you know, we just, we just find ways to win. It's like every game, we just find ways to win. You certainly pepper tonight. Matt Anthony, who had 50 saves on the night. Amazing. 50 saves. That is tacking the net and getting it done. We played well. Um, you know, we had a lot of shots. We had a lot of good opportunities, but uh, he kept them in the game with some, you know, some key saves. Uh, he's one of the better goals in the league. And, uh, you know, for them to win, I think yeah, he's got to be at the top of his game, and he certainly was tonight. Win tonight. Dayton 11-0 here at Hare Arena. Tomorrow it's the same privateers of Thousand Islands. Any, anything different going on for tomorrow? Uh, hopefully another victory. Uh, and there's a teddy bear toss tomorrow night, so uh, you don't bring your teddy bears. Folks, tomorrow is the last game of 2012. Not the last game of the season, but the last game of this calendar year. So come on out and watch some good old Dayton Demons hockey. It is teddy bear night, like Coach said. So come on out and join us for a game. This is Lee W. Round with Coach LaFave here on the Ohio Sports Radio Network. It's not food. We need to tell me that I got recorded. Please tell me that I got, got recorded. Here, <coughs> here with Jason Hill of the Dayton Demons. Good game tonight, Jason. Thank you. Uh, Dayton Demons win 6-3 to three over the Thousand Island Privateers. What were your thoughts on tonight's game? Um, well, we started off a little slow, but... Um, we, uh, after, you know, coming in between the second and third period, uh, coach got on us a little bit and we uh, picked it up. So, How do you like playing in Dayton on the season? On the season? Oh, it's a great town, great fans, great people on the team. You know, everyone, we match very well. So that's the reason why we've been so successful. There's one play I want to call in particular, fans. It was the uh, empty netter. Uh, instead of Felton trying to get the hat trick, he hands it to you and you dump it in. Instead of getting the hat trick, that's very unselfish. That is, that's a characteristic of a very great team oh yeah well Feltz he's a great player same with Metsy you know they, I played on the Metsy's line last year but Feltz he um he's very unselfish great guy give you a shirt off his back and uh gave me an empty net goal I guess I'll take it though I tried giving it to him I gave it to him about five times and he didn't want it so I said you know what I'll take it so you play Thousand Islands tomorrow any change of prep uh, anything special to prepare for tomorrow um definitely come a little more prepared you know um you can't, when we started off, we were up 2 nothing, but we weren't playing good hockey. And um, so definitely come more prepared and um, play 60 minutes instead of 40. Thank you very much, Jason Hill. Uh, how'd, you th how'd you think of the uh, game tonight? What's his, what's his name? Beans. Beans? Yep. Beans and Jason Hill here on the Ohio Sports Radio Network. We want to thank the assistant captain for the interview. Thank you. You are listening to the Ohio Sports Radio Network.